Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to another GZ Doom tutorial. In this tutorial, as the title suggests, we're going to be looking at how to build slopes. And there's a couple different ways to do it, um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to extend this area out so we actually have some room to, you know, build the slope and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, you know, that should be fine. And then we're going to do a Control shift d and we're going to build ourselves just a really big platform there. And we're going to control shift D again. And I don't know. Let's see. 128 by 128. There we go. And now I'm going to select both of these. Go to, what is it? Surfaces. Uh, yes, there we go. And I guess set the floor height to 64. And then go in here, and you'll notice that this is still a little too tall. It's like, oh my gosh. We need to fix this. Okay, so let's just do... Let's just do, you know, just a little bit of tidy in here. Just zip around in our visual mode here. And we'll just drag this up. Not too much taller. And we're just going to go on ahead and, you know, tweak this. And you know what? Let's go on ahead and grab this as well. And we'll right click and then it's down here and we'll select this. Then we'll go to the front and we will select this and then we'll hit OK. Make sure everything was changed over and whoopsie, we forgot one. OK, maybe just maybe we should actually select. Uh, the right texture there. Make sure, yeah, we forgot this one again, of course. Of course. Okay. So, uh, before we get started with the slope, I just want to say that if you guys run into any issues or anything, uh, post a comment down below or join the Discord. There's a growing number of you uh, who are into GZ Doom, and, well, it's nice to be in a community of other people. You can get help a little quicker if I'm not around. All right, so now what we need to do is we actually need to set up our sector that we're going to turn into a slope. So we'll just hit Control shift d and we'll drag out a ramp. I don't know how long we want the ramp to be. This seems fine. It really doesn't matter. The other thing we're going to do, because we're going to look at two different methods um, that Ultimate Doom Builder has. So we're going to go into Preferences, Controls, and we're going to type Slope into here. And these two here, well, these three actually, toggle slope, which is on by default, which is Alt-S. And then the side def slope picking and the vertex slope picking, uh, I assign to Alt-U and Alt-I, but you can assign them to anything. Um, and we're going to take a look at the cool things that you can do with both of these. But first, let's look at toggle slope because it's by far the easiest one. Okay, so we're going to go into visual mode. And how you create a slope is you just hover where you want the slope to be. And, you know, obviously you needed to create the sector, uh, you know, that's actually going to be the slope. And you just hit Alt-S and boom, there's a slope. Yes. And I hit G to toggle the gravity. Uh, it is literally that simple. Um, honestly, <laughs> there's a reason that Ultimate Doom Builder is the greatest tool for map editing with uh you know for any of the doom derivatives because it is quite frankly amazing but now let's look at the other method so the first method we're going to look at is the line def slope and we hit alt u to toggle it and then you'll get these lovely um outlines on the sides and obviously whichever one is orange is the slope that you are wanting to uh raise so if we were to like go here and obviously, of course, you know, we can just raise it just by hovering like anything else. Uh, but we can also select it and then raise it up. And there we go. We have a slope. So this gives us a lot more control um, and it allows you to do, you know, more interesting things. Like if you wanted to have like sloped edges or, you know, on the floor, or the ceiling or all that sort of stuff. And we'll just go ahead and undo it. Now, actually, you know what? Let's put that back really quick. No, 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 no. Let's, let's undo it, and then uh, I'll get out of this mode, and then I'll Alt-S, because there's something I want to show you. Uh, so, 
let's go in back into the slope view. So you'll see that this is two separate line depths, but this is actually all one sector. So if we were to select this and, you know, raise it, you'll notice immediately that um, it's affecting the whole thing, even though, uh, you know, we're just altering one of the uh, line defs. So this is because obviously, of course, they are connected, therefore they are affected. So if you wanted to correct that, you would just have to go in here, hit Control D, drag down a line, and then just right click. And now, if we go back, and we hit Alt U to go back into the line def, and now we can change it, and it's separate, and so forth. So I just wanted to, uh, I'm going to get out of that, and then just undo it there. Okay, so what about the other method? So, whoops, not too far, but the undo there. Uh, if we go into Alt-I, this will allow us to adjust individual vertices, which can be quite helpful if you wanted, like, say, a slope like this. Um, and then you can deselect that. And you can select this. And you can kind of affect it. But once again, you know, it's going to affect the whole thing. So you're always going to get a slight... Uh... Hang on there. There we go. Trying to uh, deselect that. So you're always going to get, you know, a little bit of um, of a variation effect there. Hang on, all right, I was trying to uh, drag that back. There we go. So um, this method's pretty nice. I don't really use it that often. I mean, in fairness, when I build Doom maps, I usually build it for the old Doom format. So I never really get to use slopes, but I do enjoy just a nice uh, easy slope like what you would find here. And also if the blinking, uh, you know, when you hover over a sector is annoying, you can hit H and you can turn off the highlight. You won't know what you're selecting, but it can be kind of nice when you're looking. Okay, so before we do our test that we do at the end of every video, I'm just going to select this. I believe it is the front here. No, it's the back here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I actually did need the front. Go away. And now I'm just going to save and then build and launch and provided that there's no errors, which of course, there are errors. errors that make no sense whatsoever. Yes, uh, it's overriding the, so, I don't know. Uh, let's just try restarting. I'm not really sure what it's complaining about, to be honest. There is literally nothing wrong with this so hold on one second okay so if you ever run into that just restart gz doom uh sorry the ultimate doom builder which is literally what i did i just restarted it and everything was fine you know what i like that door i'm proud of that door all right we're just gonna zip on over here and up our ramp we go and there we go and now we have made slopes and ramps and now from here you can go and make all kinds of crazy stuff uh if you guys make anything really cool you know be sure to join the discord and in the discord there's a showcase throw it in there because i really like seeing everything y'all do it's <clears throat> it's pretty darn cool okay so that is that i will see you all in the next one don't forget to like share and subscribe y'all have a good one hey everyone thanks for watching raven gaming labs Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member-exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.